guys, I hope you guys are doing great. So, as promised in the last video, we have a super fun video planned this weekend. Tomorrow morning, we are flying to New York City for a special reason. You're going to have to stay tuned to figure that out. But, I am exhausted right now. I finally just finished packing up everything, and it's wild to me. We have a 7 a.m. flight. Who books a 7 a.m. flight? I don't know, but we have to be up at 4 o'clock in the morning for a car getting us at 4.30. So... That's gonna be a wild adventure, but I will pick up the camera in the morning, probably tired as I'll get out, probably not feeling like wanting to film, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Again, we have a super fun weekend planned, so stay tuned. So it's like 4.31, I woke up so incredibly late. But uh, yeah, let's get the show on the road. <laughs> God. I feel like a complete idiot right now. I got a few clips, but I filmed my entire first day in New York in slow motion, and I had no idea. I wasn't looking at the clips or anything. I was just filming, 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 and it was all in slow motion. So, as of for the beginning of part of this video, I apologize that 99% of it's in slow motion, but that is what I got. That was kind of our first day in New York. Um, you know, we left really, really early yesterday morning and we were just rushing and I wasn't paying attention like an idiot and I messed up half this video, but it is what it is and now. I cannot change that. So for that first person, we ended up going to Ground Zero, which was the 9-11 Memorial, which I have been to before, but we have a few people with us who haven't. Again, that was beautiful. I got some videos and shots there. And then we went to dinner. We ate at the Hard Rock, which is something my family loves to do. And then, yeah, we kind of just had a, had a chill night yesterday because we were super tired. Uh, but I need to get into the part. Why are we even in New York City? Well, we are in New York City because Connor, actually, Connor, my brother, got invited from a cast member of the show, A Beautiful Noise. And it's a Neil Diamond special. It's on Broadway. And they want Connor to come in at the end and make a cameo and sing Sweet Caroline to the whole audience. So that's why we are up in New York City. We're super excited. It's something that we never would have thought, an opportunity we never would have thought would have come to even our attention or anything like that. But it's it's a great opportunity and he seized it. He's excited about it. A little bit nervous, but he's really excited. So yeah, that's what we are doing in New York City. 
But again, apologies on that first part of the video. I just was not paying attention. I got up at four o'clock. I was in bits yesterday, so exhausted. But I'm gonna get some light uh, clips for you today. And then, yeah, I can't bring the camera inside the theater, but on all of our social medias, we will be posting the professional footage they get. So yeah, you can go to my Instagram, Connor's TikTok everywhere and, and see that. But yeah, today, the weather's not that good in New York. I'll show you my bogus view too, it's ridiculous. But yeah, we're just kinda sitting in the rain, but it is what it is. This room is an absolute catastrophe, but yeah. So stay tuned, I'm gonna keep getting some clips. We do have a full day plan tomorrow, so I should do better there, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching again. As I said before, I am completely new to this whole world of filming, vlogging, whatnot, but I'm really having a good time doing it. So, yeah. But right now, I am getting ready for this show. It's, it's like a day show, so it's not like uh, as fancy as like you go to a Broadway show in the evening. I forget the term. It's like something strange, but it's... A day show, that's the, the one we are going to. So it's kind of just casual fit. I think I'm just going to wear kind of like this, this white Elwood hoodie and then just some white Air Force Ones with these black pants. And then, yeah, so I'll show you that in a second. Uh, I need to figure out something new to do with my hair. It's like just a mess. I had a mullet for a really long time, so it like always is kind of like mullety. And I don't, I don't like it anymore, but I probably look like an idiot, so... I need to get that fixed up. Well, actually, we'll be generous. With, oh, come out. Be generous with the cologne today. It's kind of a lighter smell. But I think I'm all ready. This is the outfit I'm kind of going with. Just these black, like, cargos. My pearly white Air Force Ones. And then this white hoodie. And for those who know me, know that... This white hoodie is gonna last probably one, maybe two wears if we're lucky before I drop ketchup on it or some crap like that. But yeah, so this is the outfit. Uh, it's raining outside, so I'm really hoping we end up getting a cab because it would be like a 15 minute walk and it's like pouring. So yeah, we'll figure that out. But oh, I just noticed something. So for those who watched the previous vlogs know that these are my sister's Ronald McDonald ones. And I don't know, maybe I should uh, help her out and get rid of those. I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, just kind of waiting for Connor to get ready and before we get on the road. But I'll film some more when we do. So unfortunately, I cannot bring my camera to the actual theater. But yet again, if I get clips of it before I post this, I'll obviously insert them here. But we can't even bring it in and I understand it's like a whole production theater whatever so um but yeah I'll catch up with you guys after the show oh hey Jack getting ready for the rain yeah okay I'm gonna seal this up that's okay you have your umbrella and uh... oh watch so I'm just sitting here editing this and this part, they actually did let me get some clips on my phone through, not throughout the show, but like initially when we got there for rehearsal and then during the big moment. So that's what you're about to watch. But I just had to intervene and say that because it was kind of a weird transition. Also, we got drenched in the rain on the way there. It was monsoon in New York City, but that's besides the point. Just enjoy. Hi, Yeah. 
also another last interruption. After he did all this, Amber from the show actually invited us down into her dressing room uh, just to quickly interview Connor and just hang out with us for a little bit. And so here's a clip of that. Her and Nick, the two leads of the show, interviewing Connor. Okay, are we rolling? Mm -hmm. All right, we've got the best of the best here, Connor Tomlinson from Love on the Spectrum. Ooh. Connor, where do you live? I live in Cumming. It's a small town just outside of Atlanta. And you flew all the way here to make your Broadway debut. <laughs> My stunning debut. It was a stunning yeah. debut. How did it feel? Well, to be honest, at first, I was nervous. My my mind felt like it was shattering from the inside, but in the end, just at the last moment, I finally managed to swallow my fear. Mm -hmm. And I, I got up there and I showed oh, oh, probably the entire state of New York who mm. I was. Yeah, you exactly. sure did. And who'd you do it for? You said uh, when you came off stage, you said you did it for your mom. My mom. My brother, my family, but most of all, I did this for a very special man. My grandfather, John Tomlinson. Most people, most of us just call, just call him Graham, but I call him Granddad. Yeah. Oh my God, he's so proud of you. Everyone's so proud of you. We've got and the whole family here. And I just want to say one thing, Granddad. I did this for you. I did this. So what? And your and your days, hopefully not anytime soon, have come to an end. You'll have no regrets. So, Granddad, I did it. Yeah, you yeah. did it. <laughs> so, one last interruption before the outro. I promise. We, after this interview, did end up going out to a fancy Italian restaurant just to celebrate Connor and, and his accomplishment because. He's taken ridiculous strides through this whole process, and it's been something we're so proud of watching and being able to be a part of. Um, it's it's uncommon, it's awesome, and we're, we're all Team Connor, so we did go celebrate him, and I, I felt like it was important to kind of just live in that moment and not put that on camera, but yeah, so we did that, and now the next clip is the next morning when I woke up late again, and I'm getting rushed out of my hotel, so there you go. So we are now finally headed out of our hotel, but we still do have a fun day planned. I'm getting screamed at to get downstairs because apparently we had to go, but um, yeah, so we have a fun day planned and yeah, but goodbye room. Walking to go get breakfast now. Have you had a fun trip? Super fun. Too it's bad it's like negative 45,000 degrees here, really, but... We're fine. We're dressed for it. We're good. No, it's cold. I was not prepared for this. You're getting all this, right? Oh, yeah. This stuff looks nasty, bro. Lots of scallion. Blueberry cream. Ew. Lox, is that it's fish? Disgusting. I have no idea, actually. It's like salmon. Oh. What the? Bagel, which I'm having. Italian, which we have. Broadway show. Hard Rock Cafe. And ride the uh, subway that smells like piss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a must do. We gotta go to what Central Park. Do? What you gonna do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're now on our way to the subway to shoot up to Central Park for a little bit and then I think we're gonna go do the, is it the Staten Island Ferry? Is that what we're doing? Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess so, yeah. Sweet, yep. It smells like rat poop and human pee. Oh. Just got off the subway. 59th Street, and now we are going up to Central Park. Hopefully we did the right thing, but we'll see. Ah. I don't know what it is, but 
getting out of that thing, I just feel 10 times grosser than I was going in it. I don't know, it's just nasty. The only shred of green in the, on this whole island. Yeah, it's pretty massive though. It's way bigger than I thought. Seriously. I've been here before, but I have no recollection of it. It was 10 years ago, but... God. Which direction? Now lost looking for the subway. So it's lit. Look at that. Oh yeah. You know what that is, Connor? Who? I don't know. Sherman. It's William Tecumseh Sherman, the Union General. Sorry if it's super windy, but the subway we were gonna get was like a 17 minute wait. It's just not worth it because we're gonna go catch our flight later. So we're gonna get in a cab and then shoot over to uh, Statue of Liberty. Just got in the taxi. Wait, where'd he get? I think his coat was on the seat. Sorry, Connor. He left us. It's warm in here, though. That's a good thing. Uh, my knees. Uh, are you hitting it? My knees are just sore. From walking all over this? And it's freezing. They're freezing. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. So how much more? That looks like middle school cafeteria pizza. The very is two hours. Yeah. Not two hours, no way. No, it is. Tony did it last time and the lady just reminded us of it, so it is. Connor's wanting to show us something. What is it? Oh, there it is. Holy gosh, I didn't even know. There's, There's the Statue of Liberty. Please tell me it's you're getting tiny. a picture. Picture? I got a picture and a video, Connor. Oh, Thank you for showing me. I appreciate it. Yeah, so I think we scrapped the idea of going on the uh, the, the ferry because it's just going to take too long. So I think we're going to go to Battery Park now and look at a viewing point. So it's not as good, but I'll try to get some shots of that. Okay, I can help you. I'm so shaky there. Look how small it is, bro. You see how small that thing is? Are you going to film the fun fact? We don't yeah, have cash. cash. Oh, Zell. Zell? Yeah. All right. She fell for it. We're zelling her. Oh, can you take it off? God. What is that? This okay, y'all are all hair, just touching her. There's hair like <laughs> hanging down your, your face. What is that? What is it? She's like a statue and y'all are touching her. 20 bucks for fur. Sick. Is it gone? Is it gone? You look like I'm Elmo. Sorry. I look like what? Elmo. Okay, smile. God. Let's go. So far, because we do leave today, how is your trip been? Have you had a great time from the Broadway, which you killed by the way, to... I... It, it was amazing. I I didn't know I could perform the way I could on Broadway. I mean, I, I was so scared, but in the moment it really mattered, I just went out there, showed everyone who I was. Amen to that. We had a blast. I honestly had a really fun trip. I just, New York City isn't 100% my vibe just because of how many people are actually here. And it's like walking down the street is chaos, but. It's a beautiful city, you can't take that away, but we've had a really fun time. Connor's had a great time. He climbed a mountain this weekend, so that was pretty cool, but yeah. That's it, now we are back on the way to the hotel to get ready to catch our flight, so it's been a fun trip. She just destroyed some Shake Shack, but now we're heading back to the hotel to get our car to go to we gotta JFK. We're going to get mugs. Oh, we're getting mugs, I guess. One more then, gift shop. Then to the airport. But it's been fun. 
I'd first of all like to thank the Academy. Best wife? Yes, that's me. Notice it's the only, the only, this is actually the closest thing you'll ever get to. God, I can't speak English. I suck, but not happening. Hey, Jack, you could use one of those. I'll take this one. Yeah, that's mine. What could I use, Connor? One Aww, of those. Look, you could get on a it. flask for what? Water? Or, or others. <laughs> I think we'll stick to water for now. How about that? Some matching tattoos. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what kind of disease I'd get in there, but what if this is like a prestigious tattoo joint? We just have no idea. <laughs> All the greatest journeys and adventures a man can have, the greatest journey of all is the journey home. Yep. Amen to that, brother. We're ready to go. Just like that, we're on our way home back to Atlanta. Beautiful sunrise. Wait, focus, focus. Ooh. See what I should watch on this, John? Oh, I'm to fight that way. Made it back to Atlanta. Phone's gonna, or camera's gonna die. Quietest I've ever seen this airport. I wish it was like this every time, but we made it back. Just like that, we finally made it back home. It was a crazy weekend, super eventful, had a lot going on. I hope I did a good job in capturing it and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching to this point. Seriously, it means a lot. Um, but yeah, we do have some exciting things coming up next week. We're actually flying to Los Angeles. We have to do some work related things there, but we also have a lot of fun adventures planned there. And I will be absolutely bringing my camera along to film that. So we're super excited about that. Also just super proud of Connor for, for what he did this weekend. He made his Broadway debut, which not a lot of people can say they've done. So we're super proud of him and and i love being able to be his brother and document you know my perspective of things but not only that but in my life it's like there's a lot of things going on right now that are foreign to me and i just am enjoying capturing it for you guys so i really appreciate you guys watching please don't forget to like and subscribe i really really appreciate it uh yeah good night